everybody Ann here. Yep, the generator came and I had a I had one problem so far with it. So I'll show you what I've done so far and hopefully by the end of today I will get that thing fired up and have it up and running. I'm excited. I was able to slide it out of the wagon and get it out of the box. I opened up the bottom first and just opened up all the sides and slid the top right off of it. Um, I've got it on the side right now. This is the bottom and I put it like this because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that red thing has to come off and there were some things that were packed down into it and I'll show you what they are. First of all, I did not know it came with this um, LP gas hose and regulator so that's pretty cool. Um, it also comes with um, a fuel funnel and it comes with little battery charging cables so that's cool instructions and this is all of the stuff <laughs> and this was packed down in in the middle of it so I had to pull that out so now I need to put the wheels on so I got to read the instructions problem I'm having is this bolt is on too tight. It doesn't matter from which side I go at it, I can't get it undone um, and I'm starting to strip this bolt. The other little holes came out. This one came out easy, that one came out easy, this one came out easy. But this one is basically just stuck in there no matter what I do. <laughs> Tap on it with a hammer or whatever I can't get it out. So I'm going to have to get somebody over here stronger than me. Until then, well, I'm not sure there's anything else I can do because this has to come out first. I decided there was one thing I could do and that is put on the feet so you get to watch me struggle through doing that. Fun, fun! I got the feet on, but I can go no further because I absolutely cannot get this bolt out and I have to get it out before the next step because it has to be out before I install the wheel axle because it, it goes up into this bolt right here and then there's another bracket that goes over here. So this has to come out before I can do anything else. So I'm just going to have to wait. Look at that. Neighbor dude came over and he was able to get that last bolt off for me. So now I get to put on the wheels. mistake you guys or a few of you who have put these together before me have noticed it I installed it with this going the wrong way and it, you can see <laughs> the wheel is not going to fit on and this one juts out too far so I need to turn this around and line it up differently and then this one goes over here and now I can get the wheels on both sides. <laughs> so I have to do this all over again and I've turned it upside down. This is just going to be an easier way to do it. Thank you. 
the handles on and I did do some adjusting to the bolts on both sides because I, I wanted them to be tight enough but not too tight to where you couldn't put them up and down because they need to kind of snap into place but you still want to be able to move them and I think that's okay so now I get to turn it over I've got to connect the battery I have to locate the negative cable this is the scary part and uh, hook it up so hopefully I don't screw this part up I did it yep it's on this side that's a little battery and this thing here was just hanging off to the side all you got to do is pull that little thing back take that little screw out and attach it to there and screw it back in just like the positive one so now I think I have to put some oil in oh and I forgot to tell you when the terminals aren't in use you just gotta cover them up with these little rubber thingies I'm like looking all over the place oh my gosh where's the oil where do I put the oil well everything is marked for you so I have to get that little thing out that's the dipstick and put the little tube in and put in the right amount of oil <laughs> have to connect the propane so I guess this just comes off right um, and I guess it just screws onto there so let me go get my propane tank I still can't believe they sent me this big long propane hose so this is the easiest part of the whole thing right here yep got it nice and snug I'm not really sure how far away this needs to be from the generator I'm gonna have to look that up but for now I'm just putting it a few feet let me make sure this is closed. Yes, it is. All right, we're hooked up. I got the one with the gauge out here, so... Okay. That's that! Okay, here we go, folks. Step by step. Turn the breaker off. Breaker's off. Turn the gas valve off. Uh, I think that's over here. Yep, it's off. Connect the propane hose. That's been connected. Connect propane tank. That's been connected. Close the choke. Choke is over here. That's closed. Okay, the tank is on. The engine switch is located up in the... It's right here. Press the switch to the start position. When the engine starts, allow the engine switch to return to the run position. Then open the choke. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm going to get this out of the way just in case. All right. I'm so scared. Here we go. not starting. I may need to do something with the choke. I couldn't get it to start so I went and did a little bit of research and somebody said you might need to do something with the choke so instead of closing it all the way like the instructions say I'm going to open it at halfway. Yeah, halfway. Let's see if I can get it to start now. Hey Papa. Coming in to get in on, on the action. Alright, that's open. Okay. Let's give it a shot, guys. Right on! I did it! I did it! Holy moly, I did it! Oh my gosh! Yay! 
Yeah, it's pretty loud, but it would be louder if I had it like totally just outside. Wow. Yeah, but it's not that bad. Sounds like a, a lawnmower. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy I got it started. I did this all by myself except for the one little bolt that neighbor dude had to come over and help me with because I wasn't strong enough. I got it running, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it down. And how you power it down on propane is you turn off the propane first. And then I'm going to start running some uh, extension cord and uh, see how it does with, you know, my air conditioner. Yeah, so I'm going to go turn the propane off. Uh, let the engine run until it's off, and then I just pull the switch down. There we go. Just flip that off. Whoops. And then, where's the choke? Come on, choke. Close the choke. Yep. All right, it's time to start connecting things. I got an extension cord hooked up, so I am going to see if how it does running the air conditioner. So let's do this all again. This is open. Yep. I'm gonna open this choke halfway because that's the way it worked before. Make sure the gas is off. Gas is off. Let's make sure the breaker breaker is off. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. Oh, I need to disconnect this first too. I'll connect that one after I start it. Okay, here we go. Huh? There we go. Let's go see if we can turn something on. I know it's got power because look, look, the green thing is on. All right, let me go to the air conditioner. I'm going to start it on low and fan only and see how that goes first. Absolutely no change in the sound of the generator. That's already cooling off. Alrighty, let me go let me go check the, the little voltmeter thingy. Well guys, I did it. I did it and I feel confident I'm not gonna have any issues with this. I'm reading more of the book about um, you know maintenance schedules and cleaning the air filter and changing the oil, changing the spark plugs. I think they give you, there's a tool in there that you can get the spark plug out and um, put new ones in and just cleaning the spark plugs sometimes. <sighs> I'm so relieved I did it. My air conditioner will run. Lots of other things are going to run too. So um, thank you so much everyone. This is just amazing. It, it gives me more confidence. Um, I I don't feel like I need to be so worried about things anymore. Um, I just need to, you know, learn how to take care of it, and um, I'm going to be just fine. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.